everyone. Today we're making chili rellenos with a little bit of ranchero sauce. Now I'm gonna make these a little bit healthier than traditionally and how they're made. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them quicker. These are gonna turn out much quicker and it's gonna be easier for you to make so you can make them anytime you want and they're gonna taste delicious. Now typically chili rellenos are deep fried. We're not gonna deep fry these. We're gonna put them in the oven. Now I promise they're still gonna taste delicious, okay? And so it's just much easier. I'm, I'm making my sauce much more easier to do. So it's just very quick to put together. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So before we get started with our chili relleno recipe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos come out every week and we're always cooking up something healthy and delicious for you and I don't want you to miss it. We're gonna start our recipe by making our sauce first, all right? I have a foil lined uh, baking sheet here and I'm gonna take a poblano pepper and we're gonna roast our vegetables in the oven. Actually, I'm gonna put them under the broiler to be precise and we're going to char them up so that we get a lot of flavor into our sauce. That's the key, all right? So with the poblano pepper, I'm just gonna cut it in half, remove any seeds. These, these peppers are relatively mild. They don't have a lot of heat to them, so we'll just pull that out. And be careful when you're working with hot peppers not to touch your eyes or your face. All right, and so I'm just gonna place these skin side up on my pan. I have a red bell pepper here, which I'm just gonna cut up into pieces, as you can see here. And we're gonna cut it into about half inch strips. Place those on the pan. You don't wanna cr crowd your pan. You want everything to you know, be able to just, you know, char up without steaming. Next, I'm gonna cut up a jalapeno pepper. So cut off the stem. cutting it in half. This is this one you got to be more careful of with the seeds and the membrane uh, getting on your the oils getting on your skin and maybe burning you. So be careful with these. Some people like to wear gloves. Now if you like it hot leave those seeds in there. I don't like it too hot so I'm taking them out. And we'll just leave them like this because we're gonna end up blending all this in our blender. So I'm gonna put that on my tray as well. I have an onion here that I'm going to cut up. So this is a yellow onion. I'm just going to cut it into pretty good sized chunks. Something like that. And I have another tray here because I don't want to overcrowd my, my veggies. So I'm just going to throw that on there. And we're going to cut up some tomatoes. I'm going to take the little stem area out and then we'll slice them all up in nice sized pieces like that, in quarters, that'll work. And we'll just place those over here. Then we're gonna drizzle some olive oil over all the vegetables. Take your hands and just massage that oil into, into the veggies. All right, we wanna coat them all. Now you wanna make sure your veggies are pretty much in a single layer so everything's touching the bottom of the pan, that'll help. And I like to have the skin side up, so I take my uh, bell peppers and turn the skin up so that it chars up, gets nice and blackened. All right, these are going in the oven on the highest rack and we're gonna broil them for however long it takes. All right, it might take maybe anywhere from um, seven to 15 minutes. Now my oven is only so big, so I have to roast each one individually on the top rack. Now I like to leave the door ajar so I can keep an eye on it. Now if you wanna get the written recipe for, for these chili rellenos, go ahead and click down below in the description area. It says show more, click that, and it'll open up and show you the written recipe along with all of my social media so you can follow me there too. While our veggies are roasting in the oven, we're gonna work on our chili rellenos. So I've got canned chilies here. These are whole green chilies. And we're gonna stuff them with cheese. You can stuff them with whatever you like, but I'm gonna stuff them with cheese. I like to use a mild, actually this is a medium cheddar that I have here. And so, you know, you can see they're not real big, but you know, you wanna cut a piece of cheese that's 
you know, good size so you can taste it, know that it's there. So there you go. And then you just stuff them. You just push that cheese right in the middle. This is the easy way to make ch uh, chili rellenos. You can take poblano peppers or any others that you like and you can um, roast them and then you peel them. It's a whole process. But this is the quick way. It is delicious. It works. Here's our tray with the tomatoes and the onions after five minutes. Not quite there yet. But you can see that the onions are getting charred up. So I'm going to flip them over a little bit. Just give them a little toss. Now, if some of your veggies get done before the others, like the tomatoes seem to take longer than the onions and some of the peppers, you can take the ones that are done out and set them aside. Check back here in about four minutes and see where we're at. I'm gonna place the chilies with the cheese on a paper towel covered plate just to absorb any excess moisture because the moisture will make your batter that we're gonna be making with eggs a little bit runny. So we wanna minimize that. So here's our tomatoes and onions, nice and charred up. And you wanna make sure you get some of that juice in there too because it's all good flavor. So here's our veggies, our second batch of veggies, and I've got the poblano here. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna place it in this bowl and I'm gonna cover it with saran wrap so that it can steam a little bit and will peel off the skin. So after about 10 minutes, we're gonna take the lid off here, plastic wrap, and peel our pepper. And we're just gonna peel the skin off. It should come right off. Just like that, pretty simple. You can still see there's some, some marks on the chili, which are flavor, flavor marks, I call them. So we'll just peel this off, and then I'll place uh, the, the chili in that dish there with the rest of the veggies. So we're going to place all of those veggies that we roasted into a blender. And then we're going to add some chicken broth to make this, you know, blend up. Put about a cup of it in there. So we're going to pour that beautiful sauce, have a look at this, into a saucepan. And then we're going to add a few spices. So I've got some ground cumin here. So we'll add a teaspoon of ground cumin to that. Some garlic powder and some salt. And we can always adjust that if we need to a little bit later. We'll give that a stir. Now this is nice and thick right now, as you can see here. But I still need to add a little more chicken broth and I'm gonna add a little bit of arrowroot to that just to make sure that it stays nice and thick. So I'm adding the arrowroot. You can use cornstarch if you like, but I like arrowroot better because cornstarch is GMO. And I'm gonna add it to my sauce. And we're gonna place this on the stove and we're just gonna heat it up and let it simmer until we're ready to use it. Now we're ready to make our batter. Okay, so I've got three eggs. Make sure they're chilled and cold. Now I've made chili rellenos a lot of, for a lot of years with my dad's restaurant. And so I'm gonna show you how I do it, but if you're not very confident about being able to separate your eggs like this, then do what works for you. So I just pour it into my hand. My hands are soft, it's, there's no sharp edges. That's why I like doing it this way. Get all the, the white stuff off and place the yolk there. We're, we're just separating them out. A lot of people like to to do their eggs in the shell. Well, the shell has a lot of rough edges. So you don't want to get the yolk and the whites, because if you do, you're going to have to start over. Because that will just keep it from whipping up. So I'm going to add some cream of tartar to my egg whites, just a little bit, and that's going to help them to firm up and get nice and firm. So now we're gonna take some cream cheese and we're gonna place it in the egg yolks. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to this 
and some salt. And we're gonna take the same blender here and I'm gonna use this mixer to blend up the eggs. Now you wanna make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature so that it'll blend in nicely. All right, so now we're gonna take half of the egg whites and place it into the egg yolks and we're gonna be very gentle about it because we don't wanna deflate the egg whites. So when you fold it, just fold it in gently like this until it just gets incorporated because you wanna keep it as fluffy as you possibly can. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna add the rest of this. And then we're just gonna fold it gently. Okay, I have my oven is preheated to 300 degrees. And some people make cloud bread out of this mixture. And like I said, I'm not gonna over mix. I think we're gonna pretty much stop with this. So we're gonna take one of our chilies and we're gonna place it into our dough or our batter, I should call it. And I'm just lightly trying to cover it. You see that? Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna place it onto my tray here. And I'm gonna place a little bit extra on top. Stay in place there. And I'm gonna spread this out and cover up that chili. And then I'll just keep doing that with each chili until they're all on the tray. Our chili rellenos just came out of the oven. They were in there for 30 minutes, and look at how beautiful they are. They're a nice golden brown. That's what you're looking for. And now we're just gonna let them sit and cool for a bit, and then I'm gonna show you how we serve it up with the sauce. All right, let me show you how we serve these up. I uh, take a spatula. I'm gonna take the big one here, and hopefully it, it won't stick too much to the paper. You can always spray your paper if you want to with um, some avocado or olive oil but those came right off. Okay, so I'm gonna place that right on the plate. Now I wanna mention that these will store in the refrigerator dry like this without any sauce for four to five days, something like that. And that's how you should store them. If you want to make chili rellenos, keep them separate from the sauce. Otherwise the sauce will just make it all, you know, mushy. It, it won't be good. So keep it separate. All right, so we take some of this beautiful sauce and we're just gonna Put it right over the top. The sauce, of course, is what makes it. Now, if any of you are familiar with cloud bread, well, that's pretty much what this is, essentially, only we've taken it to the next level. Then you wanna to top it with a little bit of cheddar cheese. We're gonna pop this back in the oven just to melt the cheese on top and inside the chili. Well, that should still be melted. So here's our chili rano out of the oven and it's beautiful. You wanna make sure that it's hot. Those sauce, that sauce is bubbling and the cheese is really melted. Remember, it's gotta be hot to be good. And uh, I can't wait to dig in. I'm really excited about this. It's very, very light. I can tell you that. Very delicious. Yummy. The sauce is what makes it. That sauce is phenomenal. It's, it's very rustic and very savory. It's very delicious. Love this, guys. And it's very light. This would be great to serve it up with some Spanish rice, refried beans. I've got recipes for you. I'll leave links for that down below in the description. You can check it out, make a feast out of this. In fact, I made some Spanish rice just the other day, and so I'm gonna heat some of that up and add it to my meal. So if you wanna try a healthier version of chili rellenos, this is the recipe to try. It is absolutely delicious. 
There's no you know, deep frying, so it's much healthier in that regard. You don't have that oil to deal with either. Baking it in the oven works beautifully. So I hope you like this. That's our recipe for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're gonna try it out, and if you do, let me know how you like it. Don't forget to share the recipe and leave me a comment down below, and I'd love to hear from you. So thanks again, we'll see you next time. Take care.